I would say here at Toolspace, I think 3D printing is the, the most important tool. I think it's around like 40% of the companies coming here that are, are actually using 3D printing as their main or the most important technology to uh, support their business forward. Toolspace is a place where any creative idea regarding hardware can be done, prototype fast and to even realize it as we did. Allure is one of the startups that sits at Toolspace uh, and they do customized lipsticks. So it's the first customized lipsticks in the world. So it's produced here in the middle of Södermalm, here in Stockholm. I recently learned about this new concept called sufficiency business model, meaning that you just take what you really need, not whatever you desire. And I think that's a great future for us and I think Allure can play an important role in testing this kind of business models to see if it's possible to create a new business model for our society that is not exhausting our natural resources. Right now, for our product, we use 3D printed caps for the lipstick bottle. The logic behind it is that uh, right now it is one shape, but we want customers to be able to also customize that part. So if people in, are in love with something that they created themselves, there's a much higher chance that they stop buying too much and they start to reuse the bottle that they created themselves and they love. So I'm gonna scan uh, the shoe uh, with this uh, little uh, basic uh, scan. We have a lot of questions from outside. We're doing a lot of different things. And just recently we had a question from a big hotel, one of the biggest hotels in Stockholm, where they wanted to uh, make a suite, their, their prime suite in the hotel, to make it totally from Swedish designers and also from Swedish materials. So we actually reached out to Add North and we're so lucky that we, we could get hold of their first 3D printing wooden filament and we use that to make a pair of sneakers in the room that is totally made of wood. Really cool. Here we call it the shoe project, but it's a part of a bigger project by uh, Svensk Tre, uh, where they are promoting um, local produced items in wood. Actually the uh, hardest part of the process was finding the shoes, but we have used 3D scanning and then just uh, post-process it in Mudbox and Maya and then 3D printed it. It's actually a pretty smooth operation. 3D printing in general I think is really valuable for startups nowadays. Like, you know, to make any creative idea come true. Because it just allows you to do basically anything.